Hello friends. Welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Amit and today we are going to see an interesting analysis using Tableau. Uh, we would like to identify the CEO successor by using skill set. Basically we are trying to see how to use weighted average. So before I show you what exactly we like to achieve, let's see the requirement over here. If you see we have got three directors, John, Carrie and Tabby and they have a different skill set. We would like to evaluate what is their skill set and according to skill set we need to identify who is most eligible to be promoted as a CEO. So different skill set and different point score and in addition to this each point each skill set has certain weight factor attached and total value of all the weight factor is 100%. So keeping this in mind we would like to identify out of these three director which director is most eligible to be promoted as a CEO. Let's see what we like to do it. So uh, uh, I already made this solution. I'm going to show you how to build it right from the beginning. So if you look at first part of this, I already imported my Excel sheet into my Tableau. I'm going to show you step by step how to do the whole step once again. Okay. So we do it in three steps. First, I like to bring all the metadata and data into my Tableau, and I have three director name and their respective skill set. Skill set. So they have their total grand skill set. I would take an average of this. So and then identify the out of these three director which director is most eligible. Now, if you see, in order to find the weighted average, the weighted average formula is this. A weighted average formula is used to calculate the average value for a particular set of numbers with a different level of relevance. The relevance is represent your weight factor over here, which is represent your weight factor. And weight should be represented as a percentage of total relevancy, and the total would be grand total would be your 100%. This is what exactly happened in our source. If you look at our source, we have Excel sheet with the three director, their skill set, and their grand total of their total point score across different subject and the relevance, which is called weight factor over here. So I'll find the average of their skill set and weighted average both, right? So step by step, let's get started. So I'm going to do with I'm going to import this Excel sheet once again and do it completely from the beginning. So start with importing this metadata. This is my Excel data uh, called CEO successor, and I've got three member over here: director name, the skill set, and weight factor, point score, and a weight factor. Two majors and two dimension, right? I go to my Excel, and the data type is remain same. These are two are string type. Uh, three of them director, skill set are string type, and point score and weight are number. Let's see different director. So I select director and their skill set. An intersection of director and skill set is your weight factor. The weight factor would be grand total would be 100. Just to show you, I add a grand total over here for column and rows. Sorry, I use analysis, grand total for rows and column. This is 100%. Okay. So, in addition to this, we can also see the number of point score. The point score. This is grand total. We would like to see the average point score across all skill set by different director. Okay, so I'll convert this sum aggregation to average. Aggregation level sum to average. This is my average skill set for each director. And who has the highest value? Carry has the highest value. This is basic average. I need to find out a weighted average. So the formula weighted average is this. Weighted average equals to the value relative weight multiplied by value and we continue to add them. That's exactly what I'm going to do over here. I'll calculate my weighted average. So I multiply create new computed column. I name it as weighted average. And this would be point score multiplied by weight. I'll take a sum of this. Divide by total weight. This is going to be a weighted average. So I got average and weighted average. 
let's take a weighted average now i right click and i can duplicate this sheet i call this average weight average point score and weighted point score weighted average okay i remove point score from here and add a weighted average so this is my weighted average now we like to compare both of them together i'm going to display this as my uh, bar chart it could be horizontal vertical okay i'll open a new sheet and add a bar chart so i'll add a director name and i like to say total score point score and weighted point score total point score i'll take an average of this and display the bar chart i can use vertical horizontal bar chart by swiping this rows to column column to rows once again average and i can use a different color and size for each director i use a different color so i got three director carry john and tabby and i see carry has made the highest score how much score carry has made it i drag and drop put it over the label and label would be as an average total point score by carry tabby and john right i like to display the same for weighted average so exactly same thing i right click and duplicate this and change the major this is my bar average score and this is my bar weighted average weighted average okay so i just change a major to weighted average label and apply as a average here also i made it as average weighted average as average this is my average uh, score and weighted average score okay now let's display them both together uh, I'm going to create a dual access chart. So I've got weighted average and I drag and drop use point score in my another access as as an average. Now it is up to you, you can use uh, bubbles or your shapes to display your average and weighted average. I'm going to use a different view for weighted average. I'm going to use a line chart and for score average i'm going to use bar charts so here it is a overlapping of values i could do the other way around as well i use this as a bar chart because i want this to appear and as a line chart this is my view right so a label also i remove it we have got two label One is my weighted average and I can use point to score. Point to score average. I could see the weighted average and actual average. Isn't this in difference? But eventually your carry has scored the most highest point in actual average and a weighted average both. So this is how we would like to find out we can calculate weighted average this is your final formula weight multiplied by point score divided by sum of weight this is what we used over here right so that's it for today uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and continue to watch more videos about different kind of analytical tools like tableau clickview tipco spotfire hypn ibm cognos and obi thanks for watching today's video and have a great day